Pero dun sa putback na yun, pang end the third quarter nito si Danny Siegel, Morocco Bull was scoreless in 3 minutes and 36 seconds. On the other side of the fence is the hot shooting streak na pinapakawalan o nararamdaman na ngayon itong si Sunday Salvacion. May offensive foul pa na makukuha ang mga taga Morocco Bull. I think that would be on Keith Jensen. So pagkakataon nito ha ng uh, Meralco na muling uh, pahabahin ng kanilang kalamangan Meanwhile, ang ating kasamang Risa Diaz is a story on the Baraco Bull bench Rado mula kay Coach Raiko Toroman Walang nananalo in just three quarters More than their offense He's worried about itong sunod-sunod ng basket ng Meralco Bull Sino lang ang sabi niya? Sabi niya, we have to make stops Rado? Well, maraming salamat Risa Tama ka rin yan ano, sapagkat ito, simula pa lang na fourth quarter, pansamantalang na-relax ka agad itong uh, depensya ng uh, kupuna ng uh, Barako kaya nakakawala na itong uh, Meralco Mick Pinise, libre, mintis sa unat pangalwa, mintis din at sa tapikan, muli nandun itong si Reynel Hugnatan, wala pa yung kanyang uh, tagon, hair clip so, great reminder by Coach Raiko Toroman that they need to play defense also, when they made that run, wala silang turnover but the end of the second quarter, rather third quarter there were two turnovers by Barack Bull. Now it's very important. Ano pa nangyari kay Mike Singletary na mukhang natapilok siya kanina? How healthy is his ankle here in the fourth? Well, pinapaikot-ikot na yung uh, kanyang ankle na yan, But he's ready to check in together with Dorian Peña in the next dead ball. Meanwhile, Leather is with Eman Monfort. Pinagdalawahan siya doon. Kailangan ipasa at ang nakita niya si Keith Jensen with 10, ten seconds. Jensen will use the baseline at ang kanyang atake pumasok for his fourth point of the game. Quality minutes for Keith Jensen na nakakuha siya ng uh, fancy foul kanina. Ngayon naman, nakakuha siya ng dalawang butos. Short but sweet stint for Keith Jensen. Tingnan natin itong atake na ito ni uh, Keith Jensen. The power move brought to you by Photon. Empower your business. Close ball game. Dito po sa ating second half action. At ang magkabilang upunan, relying on streaks with a hot three-point shooting of uh, Miralco at the same time, ang rumaraga sana mag uh, matuling na ron itong kupunan ng Barako. John Wilson, earlier in the third quarter, had two three-pointers ngayon, attacking inside, wala yan, ang riba na punta kay Dorian Peña. Eman Monfort looking for some cuts. Nakita niya itong nga si Singletary now. To Danny Seager at hira wala pero si Dorian Peña pasa pa rin ang hinanap and why not? Masigurado daw si Danny Seager Nagulat ako na hindi tinira yun si Dorian Peña but hey why not? Naka 2 points pa rin Hindi lang ikaw actually as another 3 pinakawala nito nga si Sunday Salvacion really struggling with his 3 point shot in the first 2 quarters but in the second half pumutok na etong si Sunday Naka 2 na itong si Sunday Salvacion here in the second half Mark Pakapagal on the attack. Nakita si uh, Dorian Peña. He will look to pass. Ano, kahit uh, kinukukub na siya doon. Na, Nagre-react na yung aara na ito. Because every time si Dorian Peña, kahit nakaharap na nung ring, pasa pa rin talaga ang uh, hinahanap eh. Samantala, itong uh, power rebound na ito ni uh, Dorian Peña. Tidsa nyo ng Rick Sona Men. With 50% more lasting protection. So you can do more. I'd like to correct myself. Sunday already with three three-point shots. Make the huh? four. No. Amat para po kay Sunday Salvation. Inahanap na napan natin kanina siya ng Sunday special. Eto amat na ang ipinibigay para sa kanal ko ni Sunday Salvation. Mark makapagal ayaw ng paiwan. Minte sa kanya dress. Don't look now. It's a six-point lead for Meralco. Courtesy of their hot three-point shooting. John Wilson na atake but he was fouled in the process and I think that be on Mike Singletary only the first for the Barako Import John Wilson and Sunday Salvation are the surprise package of Coach Ryan here in the second half well these two guys are the ones that knocked down the three pointers here in the second half itong si Sunday Salvacion nga nakakaapat na na 3 points in the second half ito namang si John Wilson dalawa in the third quarter and the confidence is really all over the faces of John Wilson and Sunday Salvacion na ipasok pa yung free throw ito si John Wilson to give Miralco a 7 point edge with 8 minutes and 6 seconds to go here in the game Danny Siegel aararuhin itong si Wilson short jumper and that's what he talked about, yung depensa nitong si John Wilson able to anticipate that move of Siegel forcing him to spin and to miss that shot 
Ross hindi na magmamadali. Maganda execution nila under half court. Nakita si Don Aliado who will fake and kick it out para dito kay Mario West. Six seconds sa kanilang shot clock. Mario has to make that move. And that's a three-point shot and missing that one. Eman on the run. Again, single Terry. Single Terry ang atake niya. Strong move plus the foul. That was a good strong move by Mike Singletary, but that was given by Eman Montfort because he pushed the basketball. He was able to get Mike Singletary where he's more comfortable finishing the fast break. And at this point, we will remember that the first game it was si Mike Singletary. By this time, nakakrams na ito nga si Mike Singletary, but not tonight. He has spaced himself very well and has adjusted with the minutes given him. Dito sa paglalaro niya, dito sa PBA. Yan, malakas na malakas pa itong nga si Mike Singletary now with 23 well-paced points. And 34 minutes of action out of the total of uh, 41. Mintes for Chris Ross. Nakuha ni uh, Siegel. Eman Montfort libre sa layup! Just beating everybody down on the floor. Eman Montfort, 18 points. At yan, limitadong limitado ang minuto ni Eman Montfort. Of course, pagbalik niya, hindi na siya nalabas. Hindi na nakuha yung uh, mga silly fouls na nakuha niya no first quarter. Eman Montfort, the biggest guy for uh, Parakubul in terms of contribution. Siya pa makakakompleto ng steal. On the attack, pero tatlo yung defender siya. Nakita si Danny Siegel. Ang layup niya na sa pal, pero may foul na tinawag ng ating mga referees on Ray Guevara. Ray Guevara also not been able to get his game going. Every time he gets in, Natatawagan ng foul si Ray Guevara. Pinapareport ka agad nitong uh, si Coach Ryan Gregorio, si uh, Reyna Lugnatan sa scores table. Handa nang uh, pumasok ito after the free throws by uh, Danny Siegel. Two for next from the area. Pagpapahingayin muna itong uh, si Don Aliado and uh, itong si uh, Reyna Lugnatan. Maganda yung kanyang first half. Dito, nagsisimula pa niyang uh, i-recover yung confidence na meron siya ng uh, first two quarters. Siegel makes two from the free throw line. Tie the game at 79. Six and a half minutes to go in the game. Ross, nakita itong uh, si Mario West. Sa Shapol, sa loob, pinali pa Mintes. Pero nang hawi daw si Reynel Hugnatan for the offensive rebound. So, bagong pasok, foul niya agad. Ibigay kay Reynel Hugnatan. Una palapag para dito kay Reynel Hugnatan. Well, six minutes and 17 left. Tied ball game. Now it's important. You know, Meralco was able to close out that game the last time against Petron. Ito namang Baraco Bull was not able to do so against Stock and Tex. Sigel will once again receive. Ang pasa niya sa loob. Bago na kompleto. May foul na nakita ang ating mga referees. And the foul will be charged. Again, uh, Reynel Hugnatan ito. Pangalwa. Magkasunod dito sa quarter na ito. John Wilson will be relieved. At papalik. Pansong mandali lang nagpahinga itong si Don Aliado. Eman Monfort. Paikot na naman ito. Danny Siegel. 7 seconds sa kalang shot clock. Pull up against Don Aliado. Mintes, but there's Dorian Peña. Pull again pass. And why not? Yung mga tao nagre-react dahil panira na for Dorian Pero hindi, papasok ko, mas sigurado Kanina kay Sigel, ngayon naman kay Sigel Terry Oh, you can't complain You can't complain you with good results You cannot complain because it was a good result After Dorian Peña got this offensive rebound Opted to pass, libre na siya eh Tumalikas niya, kaya nga nagre-react yung mga tao eh Sabi niya, bakit ba? Gusto ko ng assist, may rebound at assist Ayaw ko ng points Foul counted pa Oo oh, oh, oh. And that gives Barack Ubul a three-point lead. Dorian Peña is smiling. I don't intend to score high tonight. Or even score. Score at all. <laughs> <laughs> score at all. Chris Ross against Eman Monfort. Palike Hugnatan. Sunday again free. Four, three. Uy, nasa loob na. Oh, maluk-aluk at tumabas. But the confidence is definitely there for the shooters of Coach Ryan. Balikan natin yung statistic nito si Dorian Peña. In 16 minutes of action, Six rebounds, two assists. Ibang klase po ang uh, mga contribution dito sa kumpunan ng uh, Meralco. Meanwhile, Baraco 
Atake si Gil, wala pa rin. First 24, single Terry, fake sa labas. Ah, atake sa loob. And those are the legs that uh, Mark Singletary were able to preserve up to this fourth quarter of play. That's why Barako is on top by 5, 84-79. Look at that fake. Catching Mario West off guard. Walang choice kundi ibigay yung foul na yan. And Singletary much alive and stronger here in the fourth. That move by Mike Singletary. Tama ka doon, Rado. Looks like he's well-rested yung legs niya. Nandun, pahit na banggan. Uli po tayong nagbabalik dito sa Smart Araneta Coliseum at ang pinapag-usapan natin ng Miralco here in the second half. It's Sunday Salvation with the Sunday Special courtesy of his hot 3-point shooting. Sunday Salvation, four three-point shots made here in the second half. Definitely come alive, turn things around for Miralco but kinakailangan pa yung puntos ni Sunday Salvation to be able to get this win. Sabi nga natin yung first half, may mga attempts naman siya pero ayaw talaga pumasok but here in the second half all fired up ito pong si Sunday Salvacion pero ang bola na kay Mario West seeing Reynel Hugnatan Hugnatan all set for that corner jumper been steady itong si Reynel Hugnatan 16 points in the ball game for Hugnatan though they seem quiet 16 points and uh, 14 rebounds Sigil naman, coming from that Montford pass. Nasa pa ni Donald Llano. And good recovery by uh, Meralco. Chris Ross, nagmamadali. Against three defenders. He goes to Mario West with the oh, Great effort that time by Don Aliado. Blocking that shot of Siegel. Anchoring that fast break on Mario West. West now with 29 points. Medyo na tahimik. Ang bahagya itong si West. Huh? Even himself is facing uh, very well. No? So pagkat na kanina, panay ang atake niya. Ngayon with less than 4 minutes. Pachata na naman ito. Eman Bonford has the same story. Sa pa rin ang namupuno sa Barako. To Seagull, balik kay Montfort, crash ito, sumabit pa! Ross is complaining that there was actually a kick, the same complaint that Coach Ryan before you have. Tingnan natin, itong nga tira na ito ni Eman Montfort, looking for the contact which was actually initiated by that kick. That complaint has a basis. Definitely has a basis. But there are calls that you won't get, there are calls that you will get. If you're Meralco, you're down. Make that call keep on focusing on the ball game. Tama ka. No, napakahaba pa ng laban. Only a two-point two lead para sa kupunan ng uh, Barako as, uh, as Eman Montfort missing uh, his second free throw, making two out of three. Doon sa free throws awarded to him. So it's 86-83, 3 minutes and 39. Lamang po ang Barako, but Meralco has possession. They go to Mario West using the pick on his attack. Boom, boom, ba, pa. Para dito kay Mario West. Well, it's Mario West's time to take over the scoring for the Meralco Bolts. Because you know, pumutos na itong si Sandy Salvacion, pumutos na itong si Reynel Hugnatan. They expect their imports to take them to this win. Well, the other players of uh, Baraco Bull has to be reminded that Eman Bonford cannot do everything for them. They have to do their job on offense and even on uh, defense. Eman will... Uh, dito kay Mike Singletary who will lose the leather to um, uh, Chris Ross. Dahan-dahan. Hindi pipilitin ito na kumpunan ng Meralco even if they're down. They have enough time and Coach Ryan is calling for the half-court set. A pick given to West. West will attack. So, Aliado, short na kanyang jumper. Bago ko ni Singletary, who will automatically run against four defenders. Bad decision once again on Mike Singletary, who will call, who will be called for the walk. Well, he anticipated the foul. At walang tinawag yung referee, so he was called for the traveling. Well, si Risa, may kwento naman tungkol sa Miral ko. Risa? Rada, according to Coach Ryan Gregorio, sayang yung effort nila sa opensa kung makikipagpalitan sila ng basket dito sa Barako Bowl. They have to turn on the aggressiveness. And likewise, he pointed out the transition. Itong Barako Bowl na talaga namang napakarami ng nagagawa. Anchored on Michael Singletary. Rado? Nakawala na doon si Reyna Lugnata, pero may tisyo nga ang kanyang tira. On the attack! is Barako Paul with a slam by Keith Jensen. Keith Jensen just there 
Tumatakbo lang siya sa wings. Picture perfect fast break for Barack Bull. And uh, why not? Ito ha. Ang uh, Barack Bull may tatlong puntos na na kalamangan. Ang uh, Barack Bull naghahanap naman ng kasagulan dito. Ross is free. Yung layup na. Ang round robin yun. Both teams, ang uh, mga depensya na bubutasan. Kaya naman, dikit pa rin ang ating laban. Barako up by one and has the possession. Eman Montfort scanning the field. Trying to use the Pinisi pick. And the single Terry one. Pull up the jumper! Pulls up right to Eman Montfort! Napakahirap ng trabaho ni Chris Ross. Ang bilis ni Eman Montfort. Kasi na nagsiscreen sa'yo, Mick Pinisi, tsaka Mike Singletary. The smallest guy is playing the biggest. Para dito po sa kumpunan ng uh, Barako Bull. That's Eman Montfort for you. Giving his team a 3-point lead, 92-87. Mario West. Will use the pick by Aliado. Yung tres niya. Mendez, it's a tapigan. Uh, pupunta pa sa kumpunan ng uh, Duraldo. Tapos si Mick Pinisi ang tinawagan ng last touch. Dahil uh, lampas at uh, within the, 20, the last 2 minute mark, the referees will review yung uh, huling uh, top out na yun kung sino ang uh, huling nakahawak but yung first call ng ating mga referees was Mick Pinisi who touched it last this is a good angle yung mintis na tres ni Mario West good angle na silang dalawang nakatabing <laughs> <laughs> Eto, dito. Mas malapit, mas tutok. Ayun. Does look like it went out on Mick Pinisi. Like, parang mas may kamay siya eh. But Na if the uh, video, the review is inconclusive, <laughs> ay, uh, the original call will stay. But, kung nakita nila, ay, uh, may round po po. Napan mo pala. Dahil lang, yun ang kanilang original call na last touch. Ito si uh, Mick Pinisi. Mas malakas yung hampas ni Mick eh. Mm -hmm. Yung uh, kay Reynold, parang pahabul pa lang at uh, walang direksyong papatunguhan yung uh, pala. But the top of Mick Pinisi ang uh, nagpakita nung uh, tamang uh, direksyon. West. Receiving the pass. Well, attack from the side. Mintes. Ang ribang nakukuha ni Mike Singletary. And Mike Singletary will not force this one. They know. Nakakampi nila ang orasan dito with a minute. And six seconds to go in the game. They'll go to Emma and Montfort. Asking for, again, the motion. He got the pick from Mike Singletary, who would want to post it up against Chris Ross. Singletary on the attack. Now, to the time, Mario Rigover and Chris Ross. Four on the run. Sunday stops. Now, it does it. John Reza goes through. Look at us. But Mario West is there for the putback. What a big play by Mario West getting that offensive rebound. Maganda yung play niya ng Miralco. They got that. Open three-point shot did not knock it down, but Mario West was there to save the day. We go back to the pagkakatao ng Barako Bull Energy. I think na patas yung kwa nito ngayon si Mike Singletary. If he wanted, na he wanted one to si Chris Ross. Kapag tapak pag malayo ka, pwede ka sundut ang talaga. Pwede ka talaga sundutan. Plus the second or third line of defense. And yung maganda yung help nito si Mario West kaya natapikan nito si Mike Singletary. We read the basket, now we make a stop, and then we make a basket again. Alright? So make sure of pick and rolls for switching. No worries. Na nadi-detect tayo sa bosses at sa composition ni Coach Ryan Gregorio. One stop, one basket. Keeping it simple para sa kanyang kumpunan because if he, if your coach shows panic, or any sort of doubt, mararamdaman ng mga players yan. And Coach Ryan, a champion coach, he knows what to do in this type of situation. Suddenly, I'm reminded of NBA coaches na sa mga end games sa NBA. Ganun lang. Ganun lang. Relax na relax lang, di ba? Dapat na alam nyo na ito sa ginagawa natin sa practice. Pero bola po, nakupuna ng Barako, na nasa itaas pa rin by 1.9289. They go to their steadiest point guard tonight, Eman Monfort, hounded by Chris Ross. So he passed to Singletary who... Uh, Give it back. Evan Montfort for the three. Masyadong malayo yun. And the recovery. Makukuha ni Chris Ross who was fouled by Keith Jensen. So there were four seconds left on that shot clock. Evan Montfort took that three-point shot from way out. But the confidence in Coach Ryan in the defense being thrown by his guys dun sa last offensive trust na yun ng Barako. 
alam niya yung potential ng depensa ng kanyang mga bata. So he he trusted. All right, remember our play before? Yeah, the game winner. Mario. You guys are gonna win this one. Let's go. Let's go, team. One, two, three, team. Don't think about anything else, partner. That's what you call confidence and positive thinking para kay Coach Ryan Gregorio. And he understands. Ano ba yung kinakailangan nilang gawin? You know, they're running this play, something that they've ran before. So maybe Barack Obama may have scouted this already. Down, so ba down by one, but still the confidence is with Miralco. So they go to Mario West. He has all the time in the world. Sabi na kanyang goals, he will attack. Vintage na kanyang dira, ano ibang yung si Peña. Foul by Reynel Hugnatan with 8.7 seconds to go. I still see Coach Ryan not worrying a bit. Well, not worrying because that was a good play. Nakuha nila yung tirang gusto nila. They got Mario West alone on top. Took it to his strong side to the right. Namintis lang yung tira. Namusida din ni Coach. Sabi niya, attack right away. Para mo namintis man, it'll give you a lot of time. Dorian Peña is being cheered. Dahil siya po yung mamang ayaw na ayaw tumira in this ballgame. He had those rebounds, pero yung tumira, wala sa isip niya. Kaya naman, no confidence at all in his free throw shooting. 8.77 seconds to go in the game. Barako up by one at the free throw line. It's Dorian Peña. Zero of one sa free throw shooting. Tingnan natin yung pangalawa. Malakas yan. Everyone goes to Mario West who will call the timeout. With 7.4 seconds to go in the ball game. This is an exciting one. This may have started lazily, but action is picked up in the second half, especially on the third. At dito, bagay na bagay. Itong ending na ito, partner. Uh, bagay na bagay. You know, you look at the clock now, 7.4 seconds left. They're back where they were started. Timeout of Miralco, still down by one. They have the basketball. Pero ngayon, ito na ang huling timeout ng Miralco Bulls. Let's listen in once again to Coach Ryan. Alright, John. Uh, Ray, make sure, make sure you screen off real good. All right, David, make sure he, he, he he's a very slow man. All right, nothing illegal. Drop his man down and make that move. Papa Ray, you tail him. All right, because uh, Dorian Pena will be the natural helper here. If you're in trouble, Rio, just pop out. You've got a safety pass here. All right, you got a safety pass. So Dominic, they'll run the same play with a quick attack courtesy of Mario West but Papa Ray Guevara will be waiting in the wing. And just in case the help comes in early, meron kang kick out pass. But, but in the mind of Coach Ryan, alam din niya yung iiwanan ni Dorian Peña. That would be Reynel Hugnatan who will just be there. So let's see, 7.4, down by one, they go to a Mario West. Meralco Bolts on the attack. West has time. He will not finish. Two attacks and Mario West. Parehong mintisan. Actually, a foul was called by the referees. They will go to the scorer's table. And I think free throws should be uh, given para dito kay Dorian Peña once again because I think he was fouled after the shot. After the shot. Tingnan natin. I'm sure he's not finished yet. Ugnatan will be called for the foul. But there will be free throws. Tingnan natin ha. Ang uh, pagkaalala natin. Uh, it was uh, Dorian Peña or Singletary who was fouled on that rebound play. So officially, hindi pa po tapos ang ating score. That was the second attack. Nakita po natin. Same move. Hang time para dito kay uh, Mario West. Singletary with the rebound. And he will be fouled by... Uh, Reynel Hugnatan. So Singletary will go to the free throw line. Rather, you have to give credit to the defense of uh, Keith Jensen. Dalawang beses na pinahirapan. Itong si Mario West. And he was forced to uh, make the feet away of a jumper instead of a strong layup. So there's still time. Definitely 0.8 of a second. So this would change the comp uh, comp uh, composure of the game. So pagkat if Singletary makes uh, the free throw, may timeout, he will miss this one sa Agawan. Ayan, that's a good decision on the part of Mike Singletary. So, officially, it's a one-point victory 
voor de Barakobol Energy Colas. After that sus suspenseful end of the fourth quarter. A lot of action and nakita po natin after action is picked up here in the second half of play. A lot of op opportunities para sa kumpanan ng uh, Miralco but uh, those attacks by Mario West did not fall through. Sometimes, you know, you have the opportunities but sometimes the shots just the, are not knocked down by the players. Nanto na, tama na sa import mo going to his strong side going to where he wants to go running the right play hindi lang pumasok dalawang beses for Meralco so Baraco Bull edging out Meralco in today's ball game 90 to 89 well dito sa kwento ng dalawang kumpuna na ito sabi nga natin galing sa pagkatalo ang uh, kumpuna ng Baraco Bull but they recovered samantalang ang kumpuna naman ng uh, Meralco after that big win against Petron was edged out dito sa ating uh, suspenseful ball game kasama po natin ang ating best player of the ball game hindi na po kami nahirapang uh, pumili ni uh, Dominic sapagat all game brilliance for this tallest guy for the Barakobol Energy Nicolas you're our best player Eman Eman you committed the three quick fouls in the third quarter what was running through your mind knowing you have to be filled out by Coach uh, Raiko um, una talaga inisip ko na ano yung gagawin ko para makatulong sa team kasi struggling kami nung first game so talagang ginawa ko lang yung pinapagawa sa akin ni Coach Raiko um Unang-una, salamat sa Diyos. Like, dream come true to sa akin. Una, makaapak lang sa PBA. Masaya na ako eh. Tapos, ito pa rin nangyari. So, uh, maraming, maraming salamat sa Diyos. Talaga, ano, uh, birthday din ng daddy ko sa August 20. So, dadabi birthday para sa iyo to. O, oh, napakaganda na. Eh, man, you know, coming into the third quarter, ikaw kagad yung nagpakita, pinakita mo sa mga three-point shots mo, showed the aggressiveness. Ito ba yung leadership na ini-expect sa iyo ni Coach Raiko? Um, oh, tapos, um, yung mga veteran teammates ko rin kasi, Uh, binibigyan nila akong kumpiyansa. Sabi nila, gawin, uh, laruin mo lang yung laro mo. Tira mo lang kapag libre ka na. So, yun yung ginawa ko para sa team ko. Tulo, eh, gusto ko lang manalo eh. Well, congratulations to you, Eman, and the rest of the Barakobol Energy. Pwede po, Mate. Sige! Hi, Boss Danny! Hi, Dolby! Tapos, si Boss Arben Santos. Thank you. Um, salamat talaga. Wow, overwhelming. Thank you, thank you. Well, thank you rin, uh, Eman, at uh, sa Barakobol Energy. Go lang. So, first game pa lamang po yan. Naririnig nyo po ang sigawan sa likod. Kapagat mamaya, pagkatapos namin ang aking uh, kapartner na si Dominic Oy, ang laban ng Barangay Hinebra Kings at Petron Blaze Booster. Siyan po!